everyone. So you can't decide between chocolate or vanilla? Guess what? You don't both. have to because our next guest is making a creamy cheesecake that's perfect for everyone. Welcome back, the creator of the Preppy Kitchen, our very good friend, John Canal. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's always a happy day when John's in the kitchen. Yeah. It's so yeah. true. Joining Cam at the counter are Ken and Paigey, and they're waiting patiently to find out yes. how you made this so then they can eat it. It is taking notes. <laughs> so easy. It's like comes together in a snap. It does not. I do not easy. believe that. No. No. This time it's actually true. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this time. It's not like decorated all fancy. No, there's like no decoration. Do this, which yeah. is exciting. So how did you come up with this specific cheesecake recipe? Right. Well, I love creamy things, but so many cheesecakes are like bricks. Yeah. They're so right. dense. You like eat a bite, you feel sick afterwards. Yeah. yeah. I like a fluffy cheesecake, like clouds on my tongue. That's how oh, I want to feel. I love to hear that. That's what we made here. Okay, and not only that, but it also has an Oreo cookie crust, right. so already I'm excited. Yes. Right. Can't if you out. wanted to, like, if you're anti-Oreo for some reason, you could make, like, a toasted pecan graham cracker situation. Nice. Same thing, but hello, Oreos. I mean, so why good. Yeah. And Everybody. so easy. How did you make the crust? You, I just take a whole package of Oreos, dump it into the food processor, most of a stick of butter melted, Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Put it with the cream? With the, the, yeah. the full yes. cookie? With the cream? Yes. The whole cookie's yes. in there. Ah. The whole and cookie. And then a stick of butter. Right. And but I you, stop right there. Wow. Wow. You, can, you can reserve a few teaspoons of the butter oh. if you want to like be healthy. Oh. So good. And then you press it into the Just cheesecake. Press pan. it in, and you can pop it into the freezer to hang out while you do the rest because it'll set up and it won't get any like little crumbs mixed in. Okay, so no bake. We're already done with that. So yeah. as that sits there and side. just kind of chills for a minute, we are gonna make our filling. So okay. over here. Two and a half pounds of cream cheese softened up. So let it come to room temperature okay. or microwave it on low if you're in a hurry. And then we're gonna start whipping give it, a it. Mix. Nice. We're gonna add these ingredients in, and it doesn't even matter. Any order you want, it's, it's fine. basically foolproof. Okay. So add in the sugar. Which, by the way, for a big cheesecake that size, that's not that much sugar. It's not a lot of sugar. Okay. Right? You want it to be like nicely sweet, not cloying, not dense. All right. Okay, okay. now. <laughs> All of our eggs. Five eggs. Careful. And you don't have to do one egg at a time and be ginger with it. No, it's really it's not fine. that kind of recipe. And then two egg yolks for a little added richness. Okay. There you go. Mind the splatter. Sour cream. All right, so sour cream makes your cheesecake so creamy and I just love it. It has like a little bit of a tang to it. <laughs> not gonna tempt fate. Been... Yeah, because that's gonna splatter all over me. <laughs> on your IG stories, and it'd be like, and this is sour cream. <laughs> but it so would be far, very funny. If you think right. about this, you've just got some Oreos with some butter like, yeah. you know, in the pan. Right. Then you've just kind of got the blender going and put Easy. everything yeah. in there. You can so have the kids doing this. Totally I, I this was is actually totally telling right? the truth this time. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm exactly. missing something. Right. There you go. Quarter teaspoon of salt, okay. just for a little bit of contrast. Mm -hmm. Now you can add in a teaspoon or a tablespoon of vanilla. It's kind of up to you and what you like. Okay. And now for a bit of a thickening agent, just three tablespoons of flour, because no. everything it's low carb. Oh. Is that it's totally low carb? <laughs> Wait, do <laughs> do regular cheesecakes have more um, flour than that? I don't know. I think it depends. It totally depends on the style of cheesecake you're okay. making. Mine just has like a touch of flour. So okay. okay. And sorry, what does the flour do? Is this gonna help thicken it up okay. a bit? Okay, gotcha. Just help. It's gonna help stabilize it during baking. All right. If you're making a no-bake cheesecake, it totally wouldn't have that. Then we go. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, there we go. Now I just got it all over me, but that's all right. We were trying our best. Oh, good. So I see that you've melted some chocolate over there because right. we are going to make. So this is done. A chocolate vanilla swirl sort of situation. Yeah. So what we can do here. Oh, you have that one. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. All you have to do is pour in about two cups. You can measure it out or eyeball it like we're going to do. Okay. And this is going to be for our swirl. The chocolate we melted. It's pretty thick, so you want it to have the same consistency as the actual plain vanilla cheesecake batter. Now, is that just chocolate? That's just melted semi-sweet chocolate, yeah. So you can use dark chocolate, whatever dark, kind of chocolate you like. whatever. You know, this is your cheesecake, your dream okay. come true. Okay, dealer's <laughs> choice. All right, so now right. we have our Oreo cookie pour crust. our batter in batches. Okay. And then we get to the fun part, which is the decorating. So you're gonna do different, different layers. Yeah. We can add in a few dollops of the chocolate. So you can drizzle it in. Oh, oh this is how you do the marbleization. Yeah, because you see what's happening here. You Ooh. want there to be like chocolate mixed in, not just on top. Oh and my gosh, that looks so good. It's almost like the fact that it's so imper imperfect <gasps> see, yeah, makes it do. so doable. Ooh. And this isn't oh, this is oh, that's, so that's not even the pretty part. Okay. Wait, do I put some what? more? Dump the rest in. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, how lovely. And it's gonna bake like that, so it's gonna have yeah. the layers? It'll bake just like that. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Dump like there's no, no tomorrow. <laughs> Dumping. There you go. Oh, all right. All right. And then swirl, swirl, swirl. You can be more it's artful with this if you want, but. But why? I don't know. It's gonna taste how the same. sloppy you are, and it's all okay. <laughs> Do you wanna help me swirl? Or? I'd love to. Is so it just like that? So just now, pull through. Wh what I found so interesting about this cheesecake is how low you bake it. Yeah, you don't want your cheesecake to crack unless you don't care about that sort of thing. You know like homemade cheesecakes get those big yes. caverns yeah. in them? If you bake it low and slow. Like how low is low? Yeah. 300. 300, oh, wow. that's 300 low. For how long? About an hour. Okay. You're gonna watch it puff up a little bit Sorry. and then once it's done, It'll go down a little bit without cracking. Right. But I know that um, you leave it in the in the oven for some time after it after it, it you turn it <laughs> off, right? You leave it in the oven like for hours, basically. So you want the temperature really? to decrease slowly. So it does. Oh, so you bake it for an hour oh. and then you just hour. turn it just off. Just turn the oven off, leave it closed, and then come back to it. And then you put oh. it in the fridge. Yeah. And or, you end up with this. Or you eat it right away. <laughs> you, eat it right <laughs> yeah. away. you don't have to chill it. You right. don't have to chill it. Like no, no cracks at all. Look how good. And that if it looks does have cracks, cracks, you just cover it with some whipped cream and some yeah. chocolate shavings. Yeah. Like I'm I don't want to know. That's what they all do. Right. Sometimes the cracks will happen. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna get picky with my cheesecake. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, wow. you serve that. Oh, that must be so Cameron's delicious. piece. Look at the size yeah. of that. <laughs> right. Full recipe, everybody. One. I mean, you just saw it right here. It's pretty simple. I get the first piece. That's Two. pretty sweet. Full recipe, go to hallmarkchannel.com, and you can connect with John on his website, preppykitchen.com.